Hey, what's up with you guys? Hope everybody is well. I want to talk to you about Balancer today, in specifically uh, introducing a new feature of uniswaparai.com, which is the forecast of the yield for Balancer pools. This was a feature that's being requested a lot by you guys, so I hope it's going to be useful. So I'm here on uniswaparai.com. If you're new to the, to the tool, uh, uniswaparai.com, it's a tool which uh, allows liquidity providers to really track their liquidity and also can in their, this guide them in their decision-making strategy around uh, investing uh, into decentralized exchanges. So for now, the tool supports Uniswap, Curve, and Balancer. I'm here on the pool section where you guys can see really all the pool offering of the different protocols. And uh, you're going to be able to see a new uh, tab, which is called Balancer. And uh, when you click here, you're going to be presented by this to, the, uh, to this table uh, where you can see all the liquidity pools in Balancer. Uh, now, if we look at the table, you see uh, the name of the pool, obviously, the liquidity, uh, which is currently locked in the pool in US dollars. And then there is a section for uh, the actual forecast. Now, the forecast is based on a 30-day period. Uh, the reason for that is because Given the volatility in crypto right now, really extending the forecast past 30 days won't be very accurate. And uh, and so I I, I picked like 30 days. And by the way, this is really like for like to what you're going to be able to see. Uh, maybe going to show you in a second uh, for curve and use up so that you guys can really compare uh, different yield life, like for like. Um, but essentially, you see uh, the return, which is expected by the fees uh, of a balancer. Then you expect the impermanent loss. Yes, also with balancer, you're going to have an impermanent loss, which again depends on. Uh, the way the pool is structured, the different weights of the pool, and the different uh, kind of how the different indexes are, are put together. And then you're going to see like the balancer ROI. Now, the balancer ROI is the sum of these two. Uh, so basically, uh, the fees minus the impermanent loss. Plus, and this is something very interesting to notice, uh, the contribution from the liquidity mining program the balancer has in place, where basically they reward liquidity providers um, with a certain methodology, which uh, you know weights different factors differently, but they reward them um, by um, uh, minting new BAL tokens, uh, balancer tokens. And so basically what we can see here is a couple of things. So first, if we look at these pools, and by the way, the ranking by default is based on the liquidity so we see here uh, the pools on balancer which are more, more mostly liquid more liquid but but essentially what we see here is that a lot of the return if we look at pretty much all the pools is coming from bell so this incentive this liquidity mining incentive is actually providing right now uh, the most of the returns for uh, for uh, the biggest pools um, the other thing we can see is that you know, overall, the, the return is pretty is pretty good. So if we look at the APR, which is basically taking the 2.9% in this case and just projecting out 12 months, just uh, pro rata it uh, across, you know, 365 days, um, just as a comparison, is, uh, for example, for the Ethereum WBTC pool is 35%. Now, for example, when we look at Uniswap, and we look at the Ethereum WBTC pool, which is pretty uh, kind of comparable. Uh, the return right now is only 5%. The reason is there is a lot of liquidity locked in this pool in Uniswap. And, uh, you know, comparatively, there is uh, not much liquidity, uh, only 61 million USD of liquidity uh, locked in the Ethereum WBTC imbalancer. And when you combine this uh, with the you know liquidity mining program of Balancer, it gives us a very attractive return. And I don't think you know many people really realize that Balancer is kind of underutilized at this point, and uh, you know can provide a really good uh, return for uh, for investors. Um, the other thing you guys can do is really rank the pools by uh, APR or uh, by Balancer ROI. So, for example, the top pool right now, which is yielding something crazy, just 50% per month. Uh, TBD. I mean, these numbers are, I'm sure going to be uh, you know changing as people invest but the idea is the uh, pool balancer WBTC right now is the top yielding pool uh, and again like you guys can see that a lot of it is due to uh, you know the distribution of bell tokens now some of you may, may say yes but the bell tokens you know every at this point all the return depends on the price of bell but it, that's true but when you you know when we look at the evolution of the price of bell uh, this is uh, you know in the past uh, 90 days I mean you guys can see that it hasn't been increasing but it's not even it hasn't been going down either too much. I mean, it, it went down when, uh, you know, everything went down. But now it's, it's kind of about, uh, you know, 12 bucks and, and it used to be 15 bucks. So even if, you know, these re the rewards are, are given in Bell, I think so far the performance hasn't been too terrible. It's been pretty stable. So 
that's no guarantee is going to be uh, like this in the future but still you know it has been pretty stable and uh, the last thing I, I want to show you guys is that as usual you guys can create a, um, a, a basically a virtual portfolio uh, combining different pools from balancer curve and Unisop. so for example I want to show you this let's assume we want to create a virtual portfolio we want to simulate what would happen if we had we were to invest into the ethereum wbtc pool so I click here you see this kind of plus button here uh, these are really to add to your virtual portfolio so I click here and then let's assume I want to also add a Unisop pool for example the Ethereum, WB, uh, the Ethereum USDC let's say and then I'm gonna go into curve and I'm also gonna add uh, for example a compound pool which uh, so I'm gonna click here and then very quickly I can come here and I can uh, say okay for example let's assume to allocate $50,000 on the uh, Ethereum WDBTC on Balancer, $20,000 on Unisop, and then on this pool on um, on Curve, the Compound pool, another 30000 So it's a total of 100000 And here you guys can find the entire calculation for the expected yield of this portfolio including the yield per day so for example in this case we're going to get you know 76 uh, bucks per day uh, investing hundred thousand uh, dollars which is 500 bucks a week and uh, it's a 2.29 percent every 30 day based on current rates which is about 27 percent apr apy so this can really kind of guide you when you're considering uh rebalancing the portfolio maybe changing the allocation you guys can come here and really simulate what would happen at current rates if you were to change your allocation of capital so this is what i wanted to show you uh, i hope the uh you know the forecast of balancer will be will be useful for you guys really i think the added value here is really being able to compare in a in a similarly calculated way uh you know different protocols units of curve balancer i'm considering to add more um you know for example sushi swap tbd we'll see we'll see what happens there um as usual if you have any question in terms of the calculations or a comparison between the protocols and so on uh feel free to uh, get in touch directly with me you find my the contacts on the tool um either on telegram or on twitter and uh, yeah as usual if you like the content around decentralized exchanging, providing liquidity, and uh, in general, more in general DeFi, uh, follow the channel and give it a like to the video. And uh, yeah, until next time, have a great day, guys. Talk soon.